I submitted three things. I did a talk show sample, I did a hockey sample, and I did a basketball sample. Um, and everything I've heard you know, in the years after that is how well-rounded you are will help you immensely down the road when you can do multiple sports uh, and sound intelligent doing multiple sports. Baseball was the sport I grew up with. Um, and interestingly, that was the one that I didn't have on my reel. I had, didn't have much in the way of baseball experience. Uh, so I worked really hard at honing in on basketball, which was my weakest sport, um, and hockey, which was the sport that I had done the most at, at Northeastern. Uh, I really tried to find one clip that encapsulated uh, that work. And again, that goes back to uh, the Beanpot Championship uh, that, uh, that I had mentioned earlier. We had a clip from that a couple of years back that I think really made the demo was one clip that, that jumped off the, uh, off the screen or jumped in, into your ears, if you will. Um, but I, I honestly just tried to select things that I sounded intelligent in. I didn't have to, it didn't have to be the most exciting call ever, but it was something where I was sort of level and sounded like, uh, you know, I, I was, a, a, had a professional approach to the game. What I did after every game, uh, was go back and make some highlights of, either goals or big plays and I would go back and try to select which from there which sounded the best and again it didn't have to be the most exciting play it just had to be the one that was the most level sounded the most professional um, and then I went back to that game and took the surrounding uh, five or six minutes from either side of that play so for instance in, in the Beanpot game where I, where I had my sample I had one goal call that I really loved. It was it was a one timer goal, hit the post perfectly, or it hit my hit my call perfectly, I should say. Um, and I took the surrounding minutes from that. Um, and in basketball, there were a couple of uh, big plays in a game that I was calling. That again, I took some of the surrounding material around from. So it doesn't always have to be the most exciting thing, but so long as it's something that you're really happy with, I would say use that. And and the best technique for that is to go back, make clips of work that you've done on a game-by-game -game basis. So you call a game, make some highlights from it.